What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. A day with the kid. It's me, as always, the owner of this account. What's good, y'all? Hope everybody doing good. Um, as you like saw by the thumbnail of this video, you know we're doing an updated version of things skaters can live without. But instead of ten, we're gonna be doing seventeen things skaters can live without. So this is an updated version from the previous video that I did of ten things skaters can't live without. So today we're gonna be covering seventeen things skaters can't live without. Some of the things that I said, some of the things that I mentioned from the previous video are gonna make a comeback, but with some new stuff, you know? So let's just, let's just, this video, but before we do anything, these guys for me, like this video, subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. So without any more, without wasting any more of your time with this intro, let's get it. Um, item number one would be a T-tool. Everybody knows that you need to carry a T-tool whenever you go out to skate. You cannot go out skating without having a T-tool in your pocket or in your bag because you, don't, you never know what might go wrong on the session, you know. A T-tool is very useful to so like either you can tighten your trucks or you can make them loose or you know uh use them to like uh tighten your belt whenever like your belt is about to come out so you don't have to like have like a wax session with like your trucks like just like ruining the fun so always carry a t-tool whenever you go out to skate because a lot of skaters tend to just go to the skate park without no t-tool and they would assume that everybody in the park will have a t-tool but eventually yes one skater will have a t-tool but most of the time you can't like rely on like the same skater all the time so you gotta have your own t-tool all right item number two would be wax if you're a street skater you definitely need to have wax at all times because like if you're going street skating you're definitely gonna be um surrounded by spots that are gonna need some grinds and slides so wax is a very very important item for you to have if you're going out to street skating but there's a difference between the wax between uh, unlike what wax you are trying to buy because skate company wax can be expensive and if you're not trying to spend your budget on a company wax uh better just buy like a regular candle because a regular candle serves as wax and it's cheaper than like a skate a skate company wax so you need to if, you, if you're a street skater you gotta have wax at all times so you can get your grinds and slides on Alright, item number three would be spare hardware. As a skater, we always need to have spare hardware. It can spare hardware can be anything from like wheels, bearings, bushings, and yeah, just like anything in general that can like make the session last longer and make your board last longer because you don't want to be that skater who's gonna always like go around in the skate park asking for a belt so it's always important to have spare hardware so you don't have to like ruin everybody's fun and like your own, your own fun too so always carry spare hardware have a box or have like a little something that you can like carry your your hardware from all right item number four would be insoles if you're a skater who, who likes skating impact you're definitely going to need insoles because insoles can help you prevent like heel bruises because a lot of skaters like like to like skate impact and they would like get hurt so if you are a skater who likes skating impact big stuff you need to have proper insoles because flat insoles are not the best insoles for like your feet and not a lot of skate shoes come with like very very good insoles so always have a pair of insoles or like get skate shoes get like a shoe that you know that has perfect insoles and that are very very comfortable and not flat um item number five would be shoe glue or trick tape shoe glue i mentioned it in the previous video it's it's a it's pretty much like a super glue that can make your shoe last two times longer but like you know applying it also can be a hassle you know it takes 24 hours for it to dry so if you but if you are a person who relies on shoe glue you can use shoe glue trick tape on the other hand is also a very very like uh uh important item because you can get to cover up all the holes where your shoes are and it doesn't even like need any type of glue on it you just stick it on your shoe and then put it where you know that there's like a big hole and you'll be fine you'll be skating like perfectly without getting like you know disturbed by the grip tape if you know that your your shoe is like badly badly damaged and has a hole that you can just hurt yourself so you can either buy shoe glue or trick tape depends on you all right 
Item number six would be good shoelaces, man. Like, as a skater, we all know that whenever we go out to skate, we're always going to kill our shoes. Not just, by the, not just by the size of them, but also the shoelaces. So it's always good to have a pair of good shoelaces or have, like, good uh, a spare set of shoelaces whenever you go out to skate. Because shoelaces die whenever we do a lot of flip tricks. So it's always good to have, like, good shoelaces. So you don't have to always like tie your shoe like you a crazy person. So have good shoelaces. All right. Item number seven would be grip gum. I don't know if this is an if this is an important item to have, but if you a skater who prefers to like keep their grip tape clean, I highly recommend you get yourself grip gum because it's very very like useful. You don't even need to pour any water on it. You just use it on your board and it cleans the board very very perfectly. Um, Grip gum can be expensive, but uh, if you get like, uh, there's another version of it. I'm probably gonna put it somewhere here so you guys can like, find, can like use that because you can because you can find it in a hardware store. But if you're a skater who prefers to skate in clean grip tape, get yourself grip gum. All right, item number eight would be earphones. As a skater, we all know we love to skate with music, but you know. Uh, if you are a skater who likes skating alone, you need music and it can also help you out in like getting comfortable with your session and put you into the zone that you want to be in. So, um, you have earphones or headphones that can like make the session like much more interesting and with AirPods you have like the option to do noise cancellation or, or something else, whatever. But, it's always good to have like a, a set of earphones but just be careful at like the place you are skating if you're skating a packed skate park at least reduce your sound so you know you can be aware of your surroundings and not like accidentally hit someone or somebody accidentally hits you and they tell you that they've been calling you but the, your music is just too loud but yeah have earphones it's an important item um item number nine would be a portable charger as a skater we always filming and we're always using our phone we're constantly on our phone filming or looking for directions to go skate you know, so it's always good to have a portable charger so you don't get to like, um, you don't get to go home knowing that you were close to lighting a trick with your phone dead. Um, if you have a portable charger, you can just use that to like keep the session going and keep filming and it'll, it'll help you to not like, you know, lose motivation for like, okay, you were skating the park this day, you didn't get this trick because you got the trick but your phone died, you want to do it again and it's not working, so get a portable charger, it really, really it's really really helpful, I mean I use it, so get yourself a portable charger. Um, item number 10, cruiser wheels, like I know, I know like this is a skateboarding channel but trust me cruiser wheels play a very very important role in skating because like you don't want your feet to be constantly being destroyed by the vibrations that you get from your hard wheels whenever you are bombing a hill that's like very very crusty because like your, wheel, your, your, your legs are very very sensitive you know so if you have cruiser wheels you can prevent that from happening uh, and like cruiser wheels are like very very smooth so you can like literally just bomb without like you know damn it, like destroying your legs from the vibrations but if you're a skater who prefers skating like the regular wheels and like bomb cool that's your opinion but like if you trying to switch you can switch to cruiser wheels and like bomb smoothly without getting your legs destroyed so cruiser wheels get them too um item number 11 tripod a tripod i mean i'm using a tripod right now as we are speaking a tripod is a very very important item if you are a skater who likes filming the progression you know so uh, you can get yourself a tripod because not a lot of skaters are gonna want to film you you know what i mean because like you're not uh, for me i'm not as good as my friends are my friends can land the tricks first try for me it takes time for me to land my tricks because i know i'm not as good as they are you know but if your friend is filming you and you know that you're gonna take time landing the trick they're immediately gonna get so bored to the point where they're like yo i'm trying to skate so can i like leave you so if you want to save yourself from like getting demotivated from your friend get yourself a tripod so you can like film yourself your progression your tricks i know the angles won't come out perfectly but it's always good to have a clip that you can always look back to and say yes i landed this using a tripod so get yourself a tripod Item number 12, protective gear. This one is a personal choice, but not every skater who's watching my channel here is a beginner. But if you are a beginner, 
I highly recommend you get yourself protective gear because you don't want to hurt yourself on the first day you start an escape. So it's always good to have like protective gear and it's not even a bad thing skating with protective gear, you know. Some skaters may know that okay, it's uncomfortable, it's too heavy for, for them, but if you are a beginner and you know that you there are some things that you can't do in skating, you need to have protective gear so you can protect yourself from getting hurt. And if you get hurt on your first day of skating, you might get demotivated and like immediately give up skating. So have protective gear so you can always like come back and try whatever you want to try and know that you are protected. Um item number 13, massage gun. As everybody knows, skating is a workout. It's a leg workout. You know, it's like a it's like cardio because you're you're constantly working your legs whenever you go out to skate and your legs can get sore from like a very, very good and heavy session. So it's always good to have a massage gun. I know a lot of I know a lot of people can afford a massage gun, but when you just when you just save enough money for it, you can get yourself a massage gun so you can always like um, work on your legs so you can be able to skate the next day instead of you waiting at home like two or three days dealing with the pain that you that you are dealing with from your rat session with your friends. So always have a massage gun or if you can afford one you can get yourself a massage gun so you can work on your legs and not everybody is gonna give you a massage. I mean if your homies are like that generous to give you a massage they can give you a massage but like get yourself a massage gun. It's very very useful. Uh, item number 14, first aid. Okay, this is not something that skaters would carry, but I highly recommend you carry a, a first aid kit or just any type of first aid in general. Because when we're skating, we're always going to get hurt and we might open up a wound. So it's always good to like either disinfect that wound or cover it up because you don't want to be skating and you don't want to be skating at the park knowing very well that you are bleeding all the time and, you can, and you're feeling the pain. Which is okay. I mean, skating, you are going to fall and you're going to have scars from, from skating. But if you're trying to like, you know, disinfect the wound, have like first aid kit and like, or, or some band-aids to like cover it up so you don't like bleed everywhere in the park because it can be very, very like uncomfortable. Most people aren't a fan of like seeing too much blood, you know, so have first aid. First aid really, really helps. Item number 15, a bottle of water. Skating is a draining, draining activity. It drains you. So it's always good to have like a bottle of water. If you have a friend who has a car, uh, you can either like bring a cooler box with you so you can like store your water in there. Cause you don't want to be like skating, skating, and then knowing very well that the, that the place where there's like a tap is like far from the skate park and like you have to like run over there. So have a bottle of water whenever you go out to skate so you can always be refreshed and know very well that like yeah you can keep skating because you're gonna be drained all the time you're gonna be drained so yeah bottle of water very very important item get yourself some water whenever you go skate drink water item number 16 snacks like like item number like item like item number 15 you're not you whenever you you are hungry, bruh. So like it's always good to have like snacks with you whenever you go out to skate because, like I said, skating can be draining and you can always get the munchies. A lot skaters have the munchies whenever they go out to skate. We have the munchies, man. So it's always good to have like snacks with you at all times so you can get your energy back and like get back into the session knowing very well that like yeah you probably had like a protein bar or something. All right, the last item would be. A skate backpack or side bag. All right, a skate backpack can be useful for like many things. You can carry like all of your stuff, your tea tool, a tea tool, speaker, portable charger, jersey, whatever. You can carry that, you know. And if it's a skateboarding backpack, you can also like clip your skateboard on it, so you know whenever you're going out to skate, you have a good backpack that can carry your skateboard, so you don't have to carry your board all the time with your hands. But I kind of find backpacks like very very heavy because that like, they they can like limit they can like limit your skating and you know it's very very heavy to carry one so if you're not trying to carry a backpack have a side pack so you know that like you can like, carry like less stuff than heavy stuff you know it's always good to have like two bags in general but if you're a backpack person cool if you're a side bag person cool but have that so you know whenever you're going out to skate you can carry out you can carry two things 
or like as many things as you can having a bag that's not that heavy um yeah so that's it for the items guys like i said this is an updated version from the previous video so i really hope you guys can like watch this video like you did the last one because the last one also did well i'm very very happy about it so i just decided to do this version of it the updated version really really hope these items can help you out i'm not sponsored by none of the items i'm like talking about you know this is just a video to help out skaters whenever they go out to skate and what should they carry you know but that is it for this video guys i really hope you do enjoy it and i'm gonna try to be more consistent now because yeah i know i don't post the way i used to but i'm gonna try my best to be as consistent as i can so i'm gonna see you guys at the next video so peace